everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I'm a little bit under the weather, so pardon my sniffle, but I wanted to do this, it's been a while since I've done one of these quick shots, so I wanted to take a quick look at the 1987 G.I. Joe Jetpack Trooper, the Mail Away exclusive, codename Starduster. Um, now this guy was not available at retail, he was only available as a Mail Away offer. Uh, this figure, when I was a kid, um, it was, this is a figure that was sort of like a myth when I was a kid playing with G.I. Joe because we would see this figure in catalogs and places but I didn't own one and none of my friends owned one and none of basically nobody that we knew ever owned one so we always wondered I mean did this figure really exist did anyone send off for it and get this action figure because none of us did uh, so I never actually saw one in person until I was an adult collector and I never actually touched one until I received this one. He came with some accessories. Uh, he These were all reissued uh, accessories from other action figures. He had uh, a silver version of Gung Ho's uh, grenade launcher. He had a standard helmet that had this really cool little star uh, uh, decoration right there on the front. Uh, and he had a standard visor, but instead of clear, uh, it was a black visor. And uh, he had a jetpack, and this was reissued from the 1982 and 1983 jump jetpack, but it did not have the stickers on it. This is a figure that um, I'd like to review soon. It's kind of a more on the rare side and can be a little bit expensive, but this figure is a long way from being ready to review. Uh, he, there were a couple variants. Uh, this is version a. There was a version B and a version C, and I don't have those versions, and I'd like to have all of the versions before I do the review. Um, also, I need to get his file card. Uh, there's some yellowing on this one. This one, his shirt should be a nice bright blue, but this one, there is some discoloration. I don't mind that quite so much, but I would like to have at least one of the versions that I have to have that really nice bright blue color on it so you can see the original color. Uh, but there are some other considerations that I need to uh, think about before I'm ready to review this action figure. I mean, do I want to get the cereal box that he was on? I'm not sure. Uh, do I want to get the little comic strips that uh, featured Starduster? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, normally, I would really just get the figure, the accessories, and the file card, uh, and he would be ready to review. But there are some other sort of ancillary things that kind of go with Starduster. Uh, oh, there was a pocket potato troll pack that uh, he came with, that one version of Starduster came with. Do I really want to get that? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to work on that. This guy's not anywhere close to being ready for review, but you know, I'll get there um, over time. I'll make sure that he gets uh, he's completed and we get all versions, and I will give this guy a full review when he's ready. But this is just a really quick shot for now. I hope you enjoyed it, and keep checking back at this channel for uh, more full vintage G.I. Joe toy review so i've got a lot of great stuff coming up including uh finishing off tiger force month we still got a couple of reviews to go there so thanks for watching and i will see you next time